thank you very much again this is the military guna tv i'm so happy that you guys are joining me tonight now what you guys are seeing here is arsenal under 21 versus wimbledon under 21 and this was a game of two halves now as you can look at the screen you definitely see two of the best youngsters in world football at this point in time that is gabriel martinelli and william saliba now take a good look guys because you're seeing the future of arsenal football club at this present moment now let me get into a bit of details in the game so wimbledon start off with a formation at 352 in preparation that arsenal will be a bit attacking because once they see the likes of gabriel martinelli they know that they will come under immense pressure so they went away went ahead with a 352 formation in a position in um in contrary to the 4231 formation they've been playing with um, so far in the season but arsenal without any respect or fear went ahead with their normal formation 433 and now let me give you the arsenal starting lineup in goal we have Hain, left back lopez center back pierre of william saliba and socrates right back ali boze ali boyosu Ooh, hard name to call or oh, in the midfield area we have akinola at the central defensive area siran box to box midfield is this box to box midfield as well just the same very skillful player on the right our new signing molar and up top playing the false nine run we have um Cottrell. and on the left none other than himself gabriel martinelli now as you can see on the screen that will show you the how the, the game operates and how the arrows are showing you the direction as to how arsenal football club <coughs> was being dominant in the particular in this particular game now as the game goes on we see we are um throughout the the first half arsenal dominating possession getting in some dangerous areas causing in, causing a variety of troubles uh, problems for the wimbledon defenders but we're failing to um capitalize on the pressure that were pouncing on them unable to put away our chances in the earlier stages of the game gabriel martinelli quite a few times going down the flanks and causing himself massive amount of trouble looking sharp as always um in high intensity press from martinelli winning the ball as early as possible now when you see our wiki uh, our general four star general or five star general around the back controlling the ball taking taking the ball as a defender breaking the line breaking the midfield line playing through balls to our center arm um, center attacking midfielders getting the game moving as fast as possible where you see we're getting into transition turning over the ball as really quick as sharp as possible but we didn't get much out of this game in the initial stages so first half finished um one um nil all to both teams and you know that we are we were looking the better team at this point in time now we know that um gabriel not martinelli is not fully fit at this moment so we see where um he was replaced at half time for taylor hart and as you can see there under his name you see taylor hart that was his re replacement now one thing i realized since the moment that martin martinelli came off we start we stopped press we stop press and we are we actually started to um, fall back a bit deeper we had position we were, but we were a bit deeper in our own half now they made a critical change when they removed adam <coughs> raskow and put on ryan longman and what this did was it apl applied a bit of pressure it applied a bit of pressure on us because raskow wasn't um in um, pressing us intensively as well as palmer but one time when you saw when um longman came on <clears throat> he was extremely deep in our half trying to get in between saliba and socrates trying to cause some problem and i see where socrates kind of struggle with these young lads and it goes to show you that we we are actually underrating or underestimating the quality that william saliba have because if socrates is struggling with these youngster youngsters and william saliba is bossing them like the general that he is definitely he is ready to take the next step and i'm not i'm still not sure why um 
uh, uh, Mikel Arteta hasn't made the decision to integrate him into the first team as yet. And as soon as you see Ryan Longman came on, boom, he scored his, his goal. Basically, his first touch of the game and a, a minor error from Akinola where he went down slightly injured as, as well. And this was the starting point where they started to press us even though we had possession they were trying to win back second win back um the second balls as fast as possible causing us massive problems and we couldn't content with all the pressing that they were pressing and then now back again team akinola was carded for some frigilous incident and i think that was a bit of indiscipline but i i he's young so he will he will learn now 73rd minute Ryan Longman on the move through ball to Paul also and there he goes also put it inside slotted it home and as soon as Longman is on, is on in less than 10 minutes he has made a massive impact on the game and that is the importance of having a clinical or a lethal striker in your team now 74 minute Miguel Aziz yellow card again another um, minor incident which could have been avoided and the same se same sense William Saliba got another got a yellow card as well so we have three yellow cards so far in discipline starting to creep in in the game now on the 75th minute we saw where the Wimbledon coach pull Oli Palmer for out of the game and put on Joe Pigott and this was another changing incident in the game this was another man who would come and press our defense causing trying their best to cause problems for our defense and it did cause our defenders not necessarily our defenders but our midfielders to start to drop back a bit deeper but at the same time um steve round um um i um, actually act on it and made two substitution in quick succession where he pulled miguel aziz because he was getting a bit heated so he had to pull him and put on joel Ido and also pulling ben cottrell because Ben Cottrell was playing the false nine role but at this point in time it wasn't being proved successful so he, put, uh, he also bring on Norton Coffey to try to get a bit more technical ability on the ball to get a bit more dominance in the final third and this uh, two minutes later after um, Norton Coffey comes on another minor incident with, with Akinola again so something that could be avoided a bit of indiscipline creeping in as well and i think that's something what steve ball was trying to um hide away from and there goes tim akinola with another yellow card second yellow of the game as you can see on your screen there and he had to walk and that is where we came under massive pressure and joe pidgeot on um, arsenal breakaway joe pidgeot stopped the break receive a yellow card and that was intelligence intelligent play from the young man moving on to 86 minutes where joe lopez um, was caught in behind and he had to take down his man and also receive a yellow card now on the 89 minute Saliba goes in for a tackle he wins the ball I am not sure what the referee seen but he awarded a free kick and also a second yellow for William Saliba in which in fact it was a clean tackle and on the 93rd minute extra time Joe Pidgeot, the man that came on and started to cause massive amount of problem alongside Longman, now slotted somewhat, slotted it away to close off the game. Three goals to nil, and in the end, the game end up with Arsenal with 70% possession in favor of Wimbledon. 30%. They they hardly have the ball, but guess what? They did a lot with it whilst they have it. Now we had a total shot of five in comparison to their ten with only 10 30 percent and they had 10 shot out shutting us out um out shooting us was uh i would say a frivolous action by our football club the under 21 guys i think that with that amount of possession you should be dominant you should be you should be allowing less shots at your goal shots on target six in comparison to our two we only had five shots total shots off target they had three and we had two now they created two big chance and we only created one they had 13 crosses and we had 11 they had five offside actions where you see that they were deliberately trying to get in behind but william saliba was marshalling that back line which protected us a lot 
total passes we had 632 um, they had 267 and that goes to show how poorly we did with the possession that we had so this is one of the areas in which we saw we lost um, a bit of um, composure in the game we had 15 fouls in comparison to the 11 in which that we were definitely getting a bit upset and losing control of ourselves they had 24 tackles in comparison to our 17 and that is the area in which we should have been dominated because we had the ball we should be um, trying to get back the ball as quick as possible but, so they were quite efficient without the ball just as the same as the senior team as we saw when we play against Spurs um, football club that they were they had less possession but they were very effective with the ball and that is not that is something that we definitely have to work on from the junior team straight on to the senior team but a good um starting day for martinelli he had proven that he had he's ready and he's back and fit and ready to cause problem for the first team and Will, william silva is knocking on the door um aggressively to get another look in on the first team and i can i can say i'm very much proud i'm a very proud arsenal fan to see these young guys um, moving so hard to the first team because at this point in time our first team are very poor and they're not performing at their optimum best so i want to say this has been our uh, my preview is afc wimbledon versus arsenal on the 21 highlights thank you very much for tuning in before you go drop a like subscribe and share this is Military Guna TV, Young Guns Review. I am 